Hi guys, this is RC from AppyPy and uh, today we would learn about the directory feature in uh, the app. Now uh, this is going to be in two parts. One would be the website version wherein uh, you would get to see in the simulator here what it looks like when you're entering data. And uh, the functionality actually is live in uh, the mobile side of it. So I would be taking this in two parts. In the first part, I would show you how you input the data here. And in the second part, we would be seeing the actual simulation on a mobile device. Uh, so right now, we'll just, uh, we're just seeing the simulator here and not the actual device. So I'm here and I'm creating an app for my restaurant business and uh, I want to add the directory feature so I'm going to look for it and uh, I say view all and I need to look for directories so I start typing it out here and I see directory here voila so I click on that and uh, see here it says you'd only be able to preview this feature once you've published the directory via the editor available in the my apps section so uh, what i need to do here is i have to give the directory a name and uh, basically enable three buttons here so i'm saying for my restaurant the list of outlets and i give it a name outlets and uh, I, when I say, you see these three buttons here, so this is what it would look like on the mobile device. So when you enable keyword search, that's what comes there. And when you enable location-based search, uh, this is what comes. And uh, to add the listing onto a Google map, that's a third button. So when you want to enable a keyword search, all you'll need to do is put in a keyword here and click on search and uh, it would be searched in your directory. When you want to do a location-based search, uh, you would be able to uh, locate something in the radius that you mentioned here. So you can specify this radius in kilometers or miles. And depending on the distance uh, of the current location that you're in, uh, in the radius of that, uh, you would be able to see the nearby localities from the directory. Now, if you wish to see those listings on a Google map, you will have to click here and again given a distance. So from your current location, based on the GPS uh, within the radius of that, uh, of that much distance that you specify here, by clicking on go, you would see uh, the, the, all the outlets close by on a Google map. So basically this is how the directory feature works. Now uh, to show that to you on to a mobile device, uh, we'll move on to the second part. But for now, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. All right, so at the back end, when you have created the directory feature, you would go to the My App section after logging in and in your app that you've created, you would see the directory here. Clicking on that would uh, give you all the details. So here you can add categories to your outlets. And uh, when I say this, uh, basically I'll need to subscribe to a higher plan and I can add the categories here. And uh, in the categories, I can add the listings also. And uh, I can also uh, select my settings here. So um, whether I want to display a new version, I want an inquiry form, reviews, if I want to auto approve the reviews, if I want a check-in feature and the language settings, all of that can be done here. Uh, one important thing that you can do here is also upload your CSV files into the directory. So you can upload a CSV, you can export an XLS or you could also export a CSV file from the directory. Thank you so much for watching.